Pichao's Garage here, and we're live, and on top of that, I'm going to be doing a high-quality recording. So, let me get this all set up for us, so you guys can see everything that I'm doing. So, I already took off the headlights off my Mark IV. Oh, I need to raise the camera up more. There we go. <clears throat> so, here are my headlights. Got my other camera situated. Kind of make sure everybody gets to see everything as clear as possible. Um, tools you're going to be needing for what we call a Joey mod is heat gun. Harbor Freight one works really well. I've had this now for like three, four years. I think I paid like 25 bucks for it or something like that. Uh, two flathead screwdrivers, very useful. Um, you're going to need glass lenses, new clips, <coughs> light bulbs, black paint or whatever color paint you want and uh, what we call self-adhering uh, saran wrap not the saran wrap but like the press and seal one it's that weird uh, textured one um, I'm actually out of paint so I'm not gonna paint mine today but I can take them apart and do them later but this is just solely for you guys seeing how it's done it's a really easy mod really cheap and it really benefits anybody who does it pretty much it's super cool so let's get to work so Let's get your heat gun. Hopefully this won't set off a circuit breaker, but we'll start to find out right now. Now, with your heat gun, what you want to do... Let me get one of these headlights out of the way. If you guys could see this, on the top of the headlight, you'll see these metal clips. One here, here, and two down below. Those just pry right off. Just grab your flathead screwdriver. And like find a way to just pry them off really quickly. Don't throw any away. Depending on which um, glass lenses you buy, uh, you might need to keep them, might not. So, <clears throat> the key is here is that there's a rubber um, silicone seal around here that actually gets really loose when you heat it up. So, the trick is to get it nice and hot on the top first. That's why we use two multiple... Uh, Fly has screwdrivers. Okay? Don't worry about warping the old lens. Worry about the uh, plastic lens, the plastic uh, backing, because that can warp if you heat it too, get it too hot. So keeping an eye on it. And when you start heating it up, grab your flathead screwdriver and give it a little pry. Um, It'll get soft enough for you. I'll show you guys. Let me do this really quick. And you'll see here the the silicone is actually softening up already. Or the adhesive. Um, see if I can show you guys over here. Right here, the adhesive seal is getting loose. That's pretty much what you want it. I mean, getting like liquidy. So. All you want it to do is to heat it up and soften the cover up long enough for you guys to give it some prying room. Can you see that? It's coming apart. Just like that. Now let's work our way to the bottom. And like I said, just leave your gun on the floor or however you want to. And just heat it up. Get it all nice and hot. Don't melt it, because then you're gonna warp it, and then it's then you're pretty much towards the end of that. 
And if you can, give it a little tug here. You can see it's already coming apart pretty nicely. If you tug it just right, careful not to touch the inside, okay guys? If you're going to keep it chrome. Just like that. So, I'm going to stop this right here, stop the gun, so I can show you guys what we're talking about. Move this out of the way. Now, you'll see this is super reflective material. If you touch that chrome right there that's on there, it will literally just peel right off. If you're keeping this setup, not changing its color, you're done. Don't go any further. Okay? Now, the other option you guys have, if you guys want to go one step further, uh, with that pressing seal I was talking about, what you want to do is cover pretty much these pieces, these rings right here, where the headlights go, just the inside, right on the outer limb, okay? That outer limb will give you guys enough, uh, I guess, surface area where you can place that press and seal stuff, and then what you do with the box cutter, you cut around it as close as you can on every single one that you want to keep, okay? Um, that's the really easy part. The next part is picking your paint. Uh, first, pick a color paint. Make sure it's uh, plastic. Uh, it adheres to plastic uh, because obviously this is plastic, so you want to make sure that uh, um, sticks to plastic. Do about three to five coats of, of light paint. Don't go heavy on it because it will run. Once that dries, let it dry overnight, cure for about 24 hours, and then um, uh, put uh, take everything off. If you see little uh, indentations where the paint might have pulled off with the press and seal, the stuff that you put on there, uh, grab a Q-tip, dip it in some paint, spray some paint into like a little cup, paint it and dab it in there lightly, not very heavily. Um, but this is pretty much your end result guys for right now you'll see pretty easy pretty cool uh, we call this Joey Mod. if you've never heard of it google it Joey Mod MK4 headlights it's a super easy thing to do these are called e-code headlights because these actually have a fog light in them that actually works uh, if you don't if you do have that that's called an H3 bulb if you guys need to know which bulb it is uh, H1 I'm sorry H1 light bulb. So the next step is to install your glass lenses. Now that's a little tricky because you don't want to stain anything. You don't want to cause things to give you reflective problems. I guess you want to want to say. So what you want to do? Um, wash your hands very very thoroughly since you already manhandled those. Um, Get yourself a microfiber cloth, like I said earlier, and then, like I said, I grabbed these uh, glass lenses from Amazon for about forty-six dollars plus taxes. Very, very nice glass lenses. If you guys want to check these out, super nice. Um, really, really high quality glass lenses won't have imperfections in the glass. I explained that on the previous video I was talking about. And what I mean by imperfections, the glass will have like a wavy surface or kind of blurry. It won't be super clear to go through. Um, this is still super, super clear in comparison to these crappy, uh, super hazy ones that I have. If you guys haven't seen these. I mean, you can't even barely see my face through it. See that? Crazy. So, these are OEM plastic. Ain't nobody care about plastic. So we're upgrading the glass. So I did, when I when I got these home, I did open the package and I put my finger in there. So I got about a couple smudges inside. Um, I'm gonna go grab a microfiber cloth, clean that up, 
and then uh, install them and I'll show you guys how to reinstall them. Um, if you didn't buy any more um, of the heated glue, you can reuse what's there, but make sure you squeeze really, really hard when you install this and I'll show you what I mean when I get to that point. Um, so give me just a second here and I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm back. If you guys have any questions, don't feel uh, scared to ask questions, okay guys? Because uh, that's what I'm here for. Um, I have you guys on my chat screen on the, in front of me, so I'll do my best to answer questions with you while I'm doing this. So, microfiber cloth. Get the really nice soft side, because there's two sides of microfiber cloths. Um, no liquids, just give it a nice, you know, cleaning. And all that matters is the primary side of the lens, not the size, all that. That doesn't really matter because you're not really going to see through that. Um, uh, one question I did have asked before uh, from a lot of people is like, why would you go to this instead of just buying some cheap, you know, eBay ones that are like 200 bucks, you know, with, that have HIDs built into them with, with um, lenses? Well, number one, those cheap eBay ones or Amazon ones, fall apart quick, are not very safe, um, so I'm not a big fan of those. So looking inside, making sure there's nothing in here that I can worry about. And I really don't like them, they look really cheap. You know, all you guys like to put those up, upgraded versions and I'm just not a big fan of them. They look really crappy. Not impressed by them. I mean, E codes are super common. Uh, headlights with uh, fog lights in them. They look really clean, very OEM plus like. If you guys can fork out the cash, I mean, some R32 E codes are like the way to go. I mean, that's five eight hundred dollars for a set of uh, um, headlights. I mean, with built-in OEM HIDs, but they look amazing. One company that though I highly recommend. Is Volks tuning? Uh, they make a really. This gives one dude just makes headlights. He makes like a couple at a time, and they're gorgeous. Um, he makes them out of glass lenses. He custom fabricates them with like dual turn signals with a big single headlight or dual beam headlight. It's up to you. But hit up hit him up on um, just go on Facebook or his website. I think it's VolksTuning.com or just Google it. You'll find it. Super dope. So let's get back to work. <coughs> Same method as before. So we want to heat, heat up the glass, uh, the it and soften it up. Don't soften up your hands or burn your hands. Okay. And the whole purpose of this part of heating this stuff up is when you reinstall the lens. Um, oh shit, I didn't even notice, I didn't remember if I took the right side or the left side out. Ha! Ah. Yep, yeah, this is the right side. Hey, <laughs> lucky guess. So you want to heat the glue up because when you put the stuff back in you want to make sure it makes a new good seal um, this is like a big mistake that a lot of people don't do they just cram it back in there and wonder why two three days later 
you know, on a rainy day, the headlights are covered in freaking dew or water because, well, the seal didn't really seal. So, I really want to make this nice and hot, so it's going to take a couple minutes, or about a minute or two. But take your time. can't believe I'm doing this live. It's pretty cool. It's been a while since I've been online, you know, on YouTube, and I'm glad I'm back at doing what I love to do. Okay, so that's all done. So squeeze those between your legs. And then grab the lens. Don't drop it. And don't touch the inside of it. And move it over. Now like I told you earlier, you want to squeeze, squeeze the crap out of it. To make a good seal. doesn't do that, you got to keep heating it up. Make sure this is nice and hot because if not, the glue is not going to do its job. So this is a slow part of the process here, but you can already see the end result is freaking legit. Now, if you guys only wanted lenses and you had stock headlights, this is a $50 mod. It's amazingly cheap, you know? And number one, it'll give you better light. Uh, the lights will be significantly brighter at night, just FYI, because you're using glass versus plastic, and plastic reflects the light, it really kind of refracts it more so the light isn't as true. Um, glass will let it just go right through and it's just so much brighter. I had one person, a couple people actually, when I went to a couple meets, thought I had HIDs in my car and I was like, nah man, these stock bulbs. Just for quality glass lenses. That's it. And people are like, glass? Like, when did you get, where can you get glass for your car? I'm all like, well, Volkswagen's kind of had glass back in the day. So, with all that done, I'm going to turn off the heat gun here. Move that out of the way so you guys can hear me. So, I'm going to give you guys a quick cool look. Look at that. Look at this gorgeous headlight. This is after. And here's before. Can't even see the inside of that thing, huh? Check that out. Here's before. So, pretty much that's what the headlights look after 12, 10, 12 years of usage. Here's after. Look at that. Gorgeous. Super clean. Really nice. Easy mod. 
Now that's done. The last part of your uh, DIY here, before I cut you guys off, are your clips. They give you four of them, and they go in the same spots where the uh, where you had them before. Okay, and you really gotta push them hard. They're not going to go on like before, because this is new. Now keep keep watch on them and don't lose your old ones. Because one thing I did notice, if you guys don't keep the old ones, these might fall off. Um, due to the fact that you probably didn't put them on tight enough. Hey babe. What's going on? Uh, needs more. Needs more heat. Mm -hmm. Nice, huh? Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Looks like uh, my seal on this side has shifted a little bit too much to the left or the right on here. So I got to heat this up again and kind of slide it over a little bit more. They're not 100% centered. So that's, what, that's kind of the problem you're going to get when you do these. It's kind of a trial and error, but once you have it on there, it's just a matter of getting it set right. So I just heat it up again and you work your way to sliding it over. Now if you guys have any questions, you know, I'm live, ask away. Because if not, once I'm done with this first headlight, I'm good for today. I wanted to show you guys a quick mod on how to do uh, headlights. You see how pretty much a difference it made since I uh, shifted it too much to, I guess, to the left. If we're looking at it correctly.
talk. I need to turn you off. You're way too hot. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Let's put number two. Clip number three. Clip number four. Woo! Oh man. do is heat them up one more time, get them nice and tight, got a question on there, give me a second, I'll answer it. For Heller Tech, I've been doing pretty good man, pretty good. And the guy with the e-brake question, yes, I do know how to make your e-brake better. Now, you're not going to like the answer, but I do know how to make it better. Are you ready? Because to make your e-brake work better, and more than, more than likely, I probably kid you not, it's probably the original e-brake cable that's in there. 10, 15 years old. You know, give or take. Depending on what year is your car. Um, that cable, over time, will stretch. Every time you pull that e-brake, it will stretch and stretch and stretch and stretch. So, to improve that cable, or your e-brake, you need to go buy a new e-brake cable. That's it. It's really simple to replace. You literally uh, unplug and under in your center console in the rear. There's uh, where your ashtray sits in the back. Pull that out. Uh, you'll see the e-brake cover right there. It's it's one bolt and it has two nuts on each side. You take that off and it loosens both cables. Now there's a trick to doing this quickly and fastly and fast. Uh, number one. What you want to do is, once you disconnect the cable on the handbrake side and on the actual caliper side, um, you, at the beginning, inside the cabin, you put your new brake on, you get your new cable all the way, and tie it up with some electro tape, electrical tape really nicely, really, really nicely, and then kind of coat it with some, uh, uh, grease or bearing grease um, that will pretty much I'm not going to explain um, that will pretty much let it slide through easily so what you do is tie it up with electrical tape really nice go by the caliper disconnect the e-brake cable from there that's going to be a bitch you got to use a flyhead screwdriver and pry it and wiggle it out with a little uh, notch 
and then just pull the cable out slowly. You got two of them. There's two e-brake cables. So pull one out first. Once it pulls all the way through, put it back in there, tighten it all back up the way you had it, and get the other side done. That will guarantee you fix your e-brake problem. I've, I've done many of them, and it's the same problem every single time. That e-brake cable just stretches just enough that where you got to pull it all the way to the top, and it just doesn't do the trick. Now, I read on your comment that you've already tightened it multiple times. That's pretty much what it is. You're, you just stretched it beyond its point. It's done. You gotta just get a new one. They're cheap. I think they're like 20, 40 bucks per cable. So get that going. By the way, thanks for watching PTL's Garage. This was a live taping in front of a live YouTube audience. <laughs> but thanks for watching. I will post this video up pretty soon so everybody can see it in really high quality. Or it'll be on YouTube uh, right now for everybody else to see live.